One day, a white flamingo, flying high in the sky, met a solitary red robin and said a happy, Hi! What's your name? the innocent flamingo asked. What's it to you? the grumpy robin replied at last. Undeterred, the flamingo kept on, impressed by the robin's red chest aplomb. What a beautiful sight you are to me, she exclaimed with admiring genuine glee. How lucky you are to have a chest so red, glorious like a sunset settling to bed. We are just as white as white can be, like the clouds and the snow in the stormy sea. We are filled with happiness, she exclaimed loudly, as the white flamingo stood, standing ever so proudly. We just fly, have fun and live as one family, millions of us living together in perfect harmony. Listening to the flamingo tugged at the robin's heart, she was innocent once, but that was torn apart. Scarred now with a remarkable red breast, a constant reminder of a life now messed. The robin was bitter and full of pride, welling with anger deep inside, her real self hidden in her feathered facade, the redness of her chest, a glimpsing guard, guarding the resentment of a love she once felt, desiring revenge on the hand she'd been dealt. Jealous of the flamingos and their innocent plight, the red robin's mind darkened like the shadow of night. As a thought festered deep in her mind, a devious plan materialised, a plan deliciously unkind. You know, I should give you a learned lecture, said the robin with a positively innocent conjecture. A lecture on colour, something you all lack. Perhaps we should start with red and end with black. What a glorious idea, the flamingo fizzled, jumping with joy and excitedly sizzled. Let's meet on the water, in the lake over there, where millions will come from everywhere. And so the word spread to every flamingo of the land, to hear the regal robin speaking will be ever so grand. The very next day the robin stood in front of the crowd and began to squawk, squawking ever so loud. Listen you all, beautiful you may be, but seriously you should get some colour. Just look at me. I have a beautiful redness around my heart. You are just white plain, and that's just the start. Look at your puny thing legs and your knobbly knees. You should be ashamed of your spindly limb trees. As the flamingos looked at each other, confusion abound. It wasn't long until, until embarrassment they found. And as one of them blushed, a shade of pink, it wasn't long before the phenomenon of group think. Soon all of the flamingos were flushed a very light red and standing around strangely on just one leg. Ashamed of themselves comparing hopelessly, self-conscious and hiding to all and sundry. And that's why today, pink flamingos are so shy, hiding their legs and embarrassed to fly. If you listen carefully, <gasps> you can hear them sigh. Just ask the red robin, she knows why. <laughs>